Today we will run an experiment purifying wastewater from electroplating facility containing cyanides using the AVS-150 Vortex layer device. For the purpose of demonstration, the experiment will be performed in the reactor, not in continuous flow, for which we will need 0.5 liters of wastewater, 200 grams of dipole ferromagnetic elements made of 08G2S steel, 2 mm in diameter, 22 mm in length. The reagent used will be sodium hypochlorate with 190 gram per liter of active chlorine. The initial contact of cyanides in the wastewater is 25 mg per liter. We will add 66 mg of sodium hypochlorate solution, 100% of the stoichiometric amount. The process of purification occurs at pH 10.4. The duration of processing in the reactor after starting the device is 3 seconds, but if the process occurred in a continuous flow, with the device on and the vortex layer active, it would only take fractions of a second. The maximum processing rate is 20 cubic meters per hour with maximum power consumption of 9 kilowatt hour. Analyzing the purified wastewater, we measured the final contact of cyanides at less than 0.005 mg per liter. Residual chlorine content in the water is 2 mg per liter. For comparison, we also processed wastewater with cyan in a regular mixer unit. Comparing the results, we found that the total time of precipitation of cyan in the AVS-150 to cyanides took less than one hour, whereas in the mixer it took over five hours. The sediment precipitated in the AVS-150 turned out to be denser due to the filings of metal from the ferromagnetic particles. Residual chlorine content in the mixer unit was 6 mg per liter, three times that in the AVS-150 device.